What parallels do you draw between the Pacific War and the war in Afghanistan and the war in Iraq that are going on right now? Well, you know, the, war, the, 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 the parallel simply is that well, ser was, servicemen uh, are fighting and dying for, you know, what they, what they believe in. And they're fighting and dying the same way we fought and died as the, you know, my dad's generation, the greatest generation, in the Pacific and in Europe to free the world. In Afghanistan and of Iraq, soldiers don't get into political debates about why we fight and why we're here. You know, they, they, they're there, they do their jobs, they know how to do their jobs, they look forward to coming home, and often they turn around and go right back in there again. So I honor those veterans from these two current engagements as much as I honor the veterans of the Second World War. And are you, I don't make a distinction about service. They're, they're, you can't make a distinction about service. Are you supportive of President Obama's decision to escalate the war in Afghanistan, the takedown of Al-Qaeda? I'm not going to talk political today or give you my opinion on any of that. I'm just sort of going to focus my remarks about the Pacific and these 250 World War II vets out there. And as far as the parallels are concerned, is there anything else that, that you've seen as far as films that were made, like Hurt Locker, about the war in Iraq? Were they accurate, factually accurate in your mind? It, it, the Hurt Locker, it seemed accurate to me, but I haven't done the research. You know, I don't know very much about about the IED kids that go out there and disarm these bombs. Um, everything that pretty much um, I knew about, you know, you know, all that talent that, that is, those well, risks that like those it, boys I take, I pretty much was exposed to it for the first time when I saw The Hurt Locker, a movie that I really, really admire.